A lot of people do tend to come out as bi before they come out as gay. Uh -huh. So, like it's a bus stop on like the way. Like, buy now, gay later. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now, bisexuals make up the largest share of the LGBTQ population in the United States. But despite having massive numbers, those who identify as bisexual tend not to be taken seriously outside and sometimes inside our community. Today, we wonder why people are not really buying bisexuality. Hmm, I don't know, guys. I think that it's much easier for girls. They buy it. Well, yes. I think that men in general, we, society tends to be more strict on them when it comes to sexuality. Um, so they're maybe not as open about their bisexuality or as open to expressing it. Women definitely have it easier. Um, but I don't know why people won't buy it. Well, do you think it's, it maybe it's the act? Because remember, it's like when you're a bisexual man, um, then you're getting into intercourse. It's kind of like a um, you know, weird you know, situation because you have uh, what to put and where to put it in a certain way. I think the greatest crime and the greatest crime against humanity since like biblical times, like back, back in the day, uh -huh. is being feminine and being a woman. True. And so when you, uh, as gay men, take on a role of being feminine, whether that's being the bottom, are we allowed to say that word? Yeah, on of this course. Yeah, whether that's being bottom <laughs> or something, you're taking on a feminine role and that is what is objectively offensive to all these men with machismo. It's like, oh, well, female means bad. Right. And that's what I think that well, I think it's awful because it's like, you know, like men are like, oh, it's so hot if like my girl, she gets into girls and stuff like that. But then when the ball's reversed and it's about a guy who, you know, is attracted to a man and a woman, then women tend to go like, ew, like, why yeah. would I, yeah. you know, like. But they do that at their peril too. They go, oh, women and women are so hot. But then all of a sudden when your girl gets interested in another woman's heart <laughs> yeah. and it threatens your stability of your relationship, it, it, be, it, do, it does everyone, I think, good to take it very seriously. Both and ways. I think some people would also say that, you know, a lot of people do tend to come out as bi before they come out as gay. Uh -huh. so, like it's a bus stop on like the way. Like, buy now, gay later. Yeah, right. exactly. <laughs> 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 buy now, gay later. Buy so now, gay later. I think some people are, like, for that reason, don't believe bisexuality just because it is kind of like a gateway, I guess, for some people just mm -hmm. to make it easier mm -hmm. for them. Um, and I think we forget, too, that our identities are political. So when we say we're bi um, or we say we're a lesbian or gay, we're, we're painting ourselves into this political identity mm -hmm. that people right. can put us safely into a box. And when, when really we should have the freedom to say I'm bi and have our relationships with women and men taken equally as seriously. Absolutely, and I, what's interesting, I just saw that the Trevor Project released a study, and the younger generations that are coming don't even want to be defined by a letter, like whether yes. it's an LGBTQ plus whatever, they just want to be able to love freely whoever they right. want and not be defined by it. Well, I, I understand that because part of why we have these labels, I feel like it's because we needed them in a time where we needed to find community mm -hmm. and find support of mm -hmm. people like us mm -hmm. and now that there's not as much as there should be but now that there's more acceptance in the world world towards LGBT people I feel like that's why that's kind of breaking away of using labels because we're needing them less and less which brings a very interesting uh, point what you just said is like you see on TV um, you know you see gay characters you see lesbian characters now slowly they're pushing you know for trans to show up but how okay. many by characters do you really see on the shows? Television is doing more of a job. Of, is it, it, does art reflect life or does life reflect art? And as Juliana was saying, how our generation, the younger generations are getting rid of the letters altogether. I think the younger generation almost does that to, at, at our peril though. You know what I mean? Like I think it's possible for the pendulum to swing the wrong way uh, entirely. We had, we had people not 20, 30 years ago that couldn't be who they are. Our ancestors, our gay, right. lesbian, trans ancestors who couldn't be who they are. And so I feel like the younger generation, we might, I, I'm all, I include myself in the older and the younger, I'm in the mi middle millennial, but I feel like the younger generation has to be careful because we m might take things for granted, you know, I, I, finding that community and how we find that right. community. But then again, you could be right. We could be totally done with these letters. But how do we get people to believe by people? Yeah. Just believing. I mean, well, you know, it's like the same way that when I tell somebody that I'm gay, I want them, I mean, not that, you know, that they're going to doubt it sometimes, but like I'm saying, if they, you know, you don't want to be tested on it. Right. You know what? I've always been the kind of person that if you tell me that you are, 
gay, bi, whatever you're into, I believe you because that's your business. Well, and I don't sleep under your bed and it's none of my business who you're sleeping well, with. Well, I find it weird when people are like, I don't believe you're gay. I'm like, well, I'm not Santa Claus. Like, well, this is not something you believe that? in or you don't believe in. Like, I'm Santa. here, you know, it's, it's a weird thing. Or like when people tell me, like, I don't believe in trans, like, I don't believe you guys exist. It's like, I'm right here. <laughs> what? It's like, I'm not the tooth what fairy. Or oh maybe God. I am, I'm fabulous. <laughs>